I'm the writer. Yeah, you are the writer. Let's talk about what is it like writing this project and talk about how you got involved with it. I was asked to come into the project. Um, it was one of those things that happened very, very quickly. I literally was told about the project, let's say on a Thursday, and Friday I signed on to write it. <laughs> it was very, very quick. And that meant the following Monday I was meeting with Michele, and that's when it got real because it, it was totally about Michele that's the first thing opening say, up her soul story. and that's what happened immediately which was really good is that she decided to trust me because if she hadn't trusted me she could have never given me what she gave me and I could have never tried to craft that into the film that everyone's about to see so it was really um, many many levels of trust um, for both of us so it was good it's challenging because the material itself there's so much more material than could ever be put into one movie okay so the challenge was how to take enough from column A and column B and column C and try to make a cohesive picture in 88 minutes. You know, that's the challenge. Because the story itself could have been a mini series. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, with this, Spray Our Coffee, that's so much that's all that. Her story. What do you think fans will learn more from watching that movie and now watching the show to her career? So she goes and features in that movie. Well, it's like I think she says in the script, in, in the film, history belongs to the winners. And originally, one would count the guys in Compton the winners. They're millionaires, billionaires. They had a great big billion dollar movie. But what I hope that this movie shows is that there's more than one way to win. Michelet came out alive. She came out intact. Her children are well. And for any woman who has gone through abuse, you understand that that in and of itself is a victory. So, thank you. Nice meeting you. Absolutely.